guys and welcome back and in today's video we're looking at what I carry in our caravan as a toolkit. So without further ado I'm going to show you my small box of bits. It's not a comprehensive kit, it's just enough if things like something simple breaks or we have an issue on the road. I've got all that equipment to be able to help me sort out the problems. So without further ado let's have a look at the box that sat next to me. So guys I'm going to lay everything out on the little table here. Uh, what I've got basically, and I'm going to take it out in bits out of the box. So the first thing that comes out of the box is, is well, is this. So that is uh, pure clean. Um, I'll be, probably do a vid I'll probably do a video on that at the end of the year, uh, how it all works, etc. The next one is this spray, which is WD40 silicone lubricant. Very good when we bought the caravan uh, and makes the awning go through a bit easier. A couple squirts of this and it's really, really good. Anything sticks, shove some of this one. It's basically just WD-40. But yeah, it, it, it's a really good stuff set, uh, thing to have in there. So that goes over there. Next is this little tool. This is a 13 pin aligner tool. Uh, green thing, you put your 13 pin in there and it aligns all the pins up because they can actually come unlined. So that's really important that you have one of those. We didn't used to carry one, but we had an unaligned 13 pin and we started carrying one. The next thing that comes out of my box is just some string. Very important if anything needs tying up. Now you might think that I would have some glues or something like that. I've got none of that. I've just got the just WD-40. If I need to glue something, I'll go and buy some glue or I'll phone the dealership up. Dealership up. It is a brand new caravan. Got some blue gloves, uh, if anything's oily, messy, anything like that. I've got the first Rolson box. So we bought this in uh, b &M. It's a Rolson, one of the first Rolson toolkits. So in the Rolson toolkit, we've got a set of pliers here. Set of snips. extension bar, an end, a selection of different screwdrivers, that there, a selection of sockets, ten and nine and eight in the seven mil, and we've just got a selection of smaller electrical screwdrivers as well. And lastly, got a set of tweezers. So see yeah, how you've got a selection of equipment in here. And look, we'll just put it all back in this little box. And uh, it, it was quite nice because it all fits in in this box here, um, which means it's quite compact, um, very easy to store. And I think, if I remember rightly, it was the large price. Three ninety nine. Oh, this this kit was, which uh, I don't think is bad for um, a little tool kit like this. So perfect for a caravan. But this isn't the first Rolls. This is the first of two Rolson tool kits that we have. Flip that one up there, and that can go over there. This is the second Rolson box. Bigger one. Here you go. So we'll, just, we'll open this one up. So in this one we've got um, a full socket, a, dry, a proper socket, there you go. A full socket. Uh, another like one of the screwdriver end. Socket adapter. A nice 21mm large socket there. And a plethora of different sockets. So it goes there with all the different sockets there. So that's the first fit. What else have I got on here? This really handy piece uh, here, here. This is one of these electrically, it's an extendable torch with a hooky end on it. Uh, it's got a magnet on the end, so if anything needs pushing, pick that up. Uh, one of these JML ones. Um, quite handy to have a torch as well. Uh, we've got another torch back there, proper torch, but this is pretty good. Uh, it's not a particularly good torch, but um, not got it for the torch, got it for the magnet on the end. Uh, that's what we got it mostly for. 
What else have I got on here? Aha! I've got some self adhesive chrome hooks. Some, some self adhesive chrome hooks. They're pretty handy for in the um, gas locker. Some spare clips from the towing cover. And this is the probably the most um, one of the most helpful things that we bought. Well, uh, we had at home. It's the Bosch uh, little driver. So it's a 3.6 volt uh, Bosch IXO uh, little driver. But before anybody asks, no, we don't use this for the steadies. We bring our Hitachi 18 volt hammer drill, and we also drill the screw in pegs with that. This is more if some, one of the screws in the van comes out, whip that on, whip one of the ends which are in here on, I do that, goes in the end, and I can drive that in. Very handy piece of equipment to have with us. Also got the charger here, and that's pretty compact. Uh, it's got a selection of bits in there, and it all, all, goes, in, look, it all goes in there. And that's really handy to have there. Now this isn't this is not really pot, this is another piece of the toolkit. And you need one of these. This is a wheel brace. This is a 19mm uh, wheel brace. Perfect. If you've got a motor mover, you'll have one of these. Uh, we had this before our motor mover, and we got another one, because we've got two now anyway. Uh, this is this is brilliant for if you've got uh, you want to take your wheel nuts off. Uh, don't tighten it up with this because you could do them up too tight, but we'll talk about tightening wheel nuts in a minute. Uh, it's extendable and it's a brilliant piece of kit. So you can do your wheels with this. If you haven't got a steady winder, you could also wind your steadies up with it. I've seen people do this and I can see, I've seen them t how long it takes. So guys, part of the caravans toolkit that actually comes with it is this very long bar here. It looks like a steady winder, but it's got a hook on the end. That's because this is for the wind down spare wheel, and this is incredibly important that this is in handy reach, so we keep ours just inside the back locker. Because what you do is it goes in like that, and you go because there's a little hole uh, inside the double bed. So you unwind it, uh, you wind it, wind it, wind it, wind it, wind it, and there's a the wheel is on a chain, and um, you just then literally just pull the wheel out. Much easier than the Alco uh, pull out spare wheel carrier that we know everyone absolutely loves not and to go with that you're going to need this as well uh, this is this is the jack we got one with the caravan we've got the alco side lift jack rated up to 1600 kilos obviously the caravan only weighs 15 so it's very safe and um, if your caravan doesn't come with one standard go and buy one please because um if you have an issue with your caravan and you need to jack it up you haven't got a jack if you don't you don't have to get the Alco one, um, the Kojak is a very, very recommended system. I'll shove some links to Kojak uh, by Purple Line below and in the uh, top corner. Uh, very good system, we're looking at possibly swapping this one out because this jack is uh, pretty awful, I have to say. Uh, it doesn't look particularly sturdy and I'm not sure about jacking the caravan up with this. Grandma has got the uh, Alco scissor jack which is weighted up to two tonne, and that is a much safer system. So we haven't used this yet, but I took it out of the bag and I was a bit unsure. Uh, quickly, this is the little box that we carry all of our toolkit in. Very small, very compact. Right guys, so a very important piece of equipment is this bad boy here. Probably all know what this is. It's a torque wrench. One of the most important pieces of equipment for a caravan that you should always carry in your toolkit. Bit heavy, uh, but this is the torque wrench here. Uh, we picked this one up from Screwfix and it was $22.99. Uh, very good piece of equipment. It's a wind up one, so you wind it up. So 130 our wheels are, so that's a long way. But anyway, um, you get a nut, you'll need a 90, for all caravans, you need a 19 mil socket. And if you've got a Bailey caravan, you'll be given a locking wheel nut key for the WSL security wheel bolts. Um, so that's over there. You get an extension bar with it and also a small um, adapter as well. It's all finished in chrome van danium. Um, you get a little conversion table in there if you need a conversion table. 
And yeah, it's really good. And it all goes in a box, which is very important. It goes in there. All that goes in there. It all goes in a box. Shut that down, shut that down. And your box is like that. enjoyed this video um, about my caravan tool kit tell me what you've got in the comments below and if you think I should add anything to mine so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video all right bye <laughs>